so I just got in the tank. This flap I thought looked a bit stiff, and uh, I didn't realise it was just producing the biggest slab of chocolate. It's <laughs> only totally. look at that. Oh, it's silky, beautiful. So this is the morning after several days of rain. So just about to make a start. But just uh, over the last couple of days, we've put full wet weather kit in. So we've done big webs, 50 mil webs. Like the main, first main web anyway. We've just uh, put 20 mil multiceps in the first bank of multiceps yesterday. So it should get the soil through the cleaner easier. Yes, here goes. Look at that, how lucky am I? Glorious. Is he looking for his bird? Fabulous views this morning. I was just thinking what a lovely day we've had. It's been sunny all day, it's been pretty all day, a nice sunset, nice sunrise, it's been absolutely textbook lovely. And uh, I've had my father-in-law helping today, which is wonderful, and I've had my brother-in-law helping today. And my brother-in-law is actually very close friends with cousin Michael, so there you go. Perhaps we'll get a cameo. No, it's, it's, all, it's all good today. So the soils are nicely sticky. It's just what we want, nice and moist. A few clods in the tank, but oh, that doesn't worry me. Coming up nice. Wow, isn't that lovely? hair looks like it's coming out of the potato shed so I've just started cooling the shed down now as you can see it's a bit foggy there's a hell of a temperature differential so this is what uh, I find I find really fascinating it's not well, it's 3.2 degrees out here 14.9 in there huge differential and I've just started cooling the, the crop down now so I'm gonna cool it down 0.3 degrees a day so I don't cause a sugar spike or upset the sugars in the potatoes. Sugars are everything. My 
Dutch and Ernie this morning. Now, it's quite familiar. Look at that. Lovely. That's one of the best. It's like them uh, big paintings you get in stately homes with all the angels on. It's that sort of, uh, sort of, that sort of look about it. See the mist, but wow, just a, a morning great pictures today. A lot more haze coming off the potato rows. Look at this one for a sunrise. Isn't that magical? Isn't that lovely? Not that, that. I find it quite weird how this year the tubers are a lot rounded. I mean, like the la last season they were misshapen, ugly. Into schools to help identify issues sooner. Um, there's lots of growth um, defects, but this year they're just generally really round. I just wondered why that was. Just getting through the sticky stage now where sometimes it's better when the crop or in the field is it's wetter. And, it, and then it goes to a claggy stage. Well, yesterday was just getting through the claggy stage and now I'm getting back to the dry stage, which is good. It's a lot cleaner in the tank. To me, that's normal. Um, yeah, just cruising through. At 1.8K. Never get tired of it, it's lovely. All the little birds there, don't know what they are, should do, I suppose. So we have our first stuck. Quite a few sinkholes in this field. First stuck. It's not too bad. It's just got caught in some grease. They're trying to get out forward and back. Obviously, it's sunk a bit then. But it's always very tricky when you're opening up and there's no escape routes. Easy, just like that. They're very little wet holes, really. <laughs> Harvesting isn't without its problems this week. We've got various wet holes we're having to deal with getting through, but it's not particularly pretty. It's dubious how well these will store from this gap, but some 
I deliberated whether I should lift up and go through. So what I'm doing instead, to keep it simple, I'm just shallowing it up, chopping through just to miss anything at water depth. Actually, it's not doing too bad. I might just miss that bit totally because I, I can't see anything good coming from there. That's what we call pushing water uphill. That's the basis of hydraulics. You can't compress the liquid, but you can uh, pressurise it. Well, say, I call that a hill, but that's a seal hill. To me, that's a hill. So, yeah, I guess it's probably a two foot hill. It's turning out to be a beautiful evening. We have we have a bit of water in the roads. This is from the, well, we've had 62 mil since this was flailed. And um, it's not going anywhere now. I think it's slaked to the bottom of the rows. And it's just sitting there. Running off the high spots. Believe it or not, it's the Silla Hills in here over, well, just there. Uh, it's running off like guttering on every row and it's running down into the low spots causing a bit of drama. <laughs> 